Transport Canada requires an aviation medical uh, for, for all pilots. There are different types of medicals. Category 1 medical is required for a uh, commercial pilot or an airline transport pilot. That's the, that's the highest level one. A Category 3 medical is required for a private pilot. And a Category 4 is required for a recreational pilot. A Category 2 is for air traffic controllers. The medical uh, has to be done uh, in a commercial environment at least every year or if you're over 40 every six months. Uh, the medical requirements are, uh, I wouldn't say strict, probably something like 97% of people can get an aviation medical. In the medical they will ask you questions about your, your health history and your past. They'll check your hearing, they'll check your eyesight, uh, your heart. Well, an aviation medical is very important for a pilot, both to ensure your health and also to meet the regulatory requirements. Typically when someone comes in and asks about learning to fly, the very first thing we say is go get an aviation medical. Before you spend a lot of money and time, you want to make sure you can pass the requirements. It also can take some time, especially after COVID, to, to get the medical. You will, the, the actual medical to, uh, is done with a doctor that's approved by Transport Canada, and then he submits the paperwork to Transport Canada. So that, that process can take anywhere from three weeks here in Western Canada to many months in Eastern Canada right now. So it's important that you do the aviation medical early.